What's up, everybody? My name is Nerdbro, and welcome back to The Long Dark. Last time, we traversed our way through Milton, climbed down a few cliff faces, and uh, hunkered down in the hermit's cabin for a little while. I uh, had to wait out the weather. Then we found ourselves in Forlorn Muskeg, where we are now in the train cars. Uh, looks to be a fairly foggy morning today. Um, it's about... What, uh, I don't know, probably it's 11 a.m. If you figure the midpoint there is noon. Um, fog doesn't look like it is going to dissipate at any time soon, so we're going to have to just work around it. Now, I know over around this way, there is some uh, gear that we can find. Like, there's a backpack over here. Um, I think there's probably a soda or some other items that we can look to um, hopefully utilize. I assume there's some more coal around here somewhere, maybe. Let's see what's on the back side of this train car here. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. So here's some more coal, the more scrap metal, and a search a little container. Nothing in that container. What's this? Oh, granola bar, okay. More scrap metal. I'm gonna leave the scrap metal for now. I don't need it at this moment. Uh, this firewood could be useful. Uh, what I will do, I'm gonna grab this stuff real quick and I'm gonna throw it inside the train car just so we have it kind of in a in a small storage area. And then we're gonna venture on our way. All right, scrap metal is dropped off and we're off, we're gonna get out of here. Now, again, I've never really ventured outside of the railroad here. I've never really ventured through for, for, I can never say it, through the muskeg. So, your guess is as good as mine as to where to go. I think I'm going to try to use point of interests to kind of guide me here. And first point of interest that I see is the birds over here. There's probably a corpse. Uh, maybe a dead deer or a uh, dentist might be over this way. So we're going to go check it out, see what we kind of find. And it looks like it is Dennis over here with a couple arrows and a bow. That's going to do us some good. Oh, that's awesome. We found a survival bow. Thanks, Dennis. And a couple arrows. Take that and that. I am starving, so an MRE would do great. I've never used the bow before. What is R for switch? Does not tell me. Raw and relax. Okay. Interesting. Uh, let's see if we can make it across this ice. Nope. Okay. Ooh, that's loud. All right. So what we'll try to do is skirt around the edge here. And go back that way. Pretty sweet that we found a bow. I'm, uh, I'm going to be excited to kind of play around with this. And then hopefully we can actually repair it. I don't know what type of materials we'll need to repair. I've got two arrows. It's not a lot of arrows. I think I have some in, Mich in the maybe in the camp office. Or I might have some over in Milton still. I know I found a few arrows. Um, I know I have a couple broken arrows, too, that I can scrap down. I don't know if that's another rock over there or some type of building. It's a little bit off in the distance. I'm hoping I can cross the ice here. I cannot. Um, we're going to have to uh, carry on around this way. Oh, there looks maybe there's a cave over here. Okay, this could be a little hovel, a little shelter if we needed it. I'm going to take a mental note here as well. It could be interesting to do maybe like a survival run there. Uh, survival run where we, we camp there. So that little boulder that I was looking at that I thought was a boulder happened to be a fallen tree. Probably not much over here to look at. But I do see that there's a hunting blind over here. So we'll head over to that direction and see what type of uh, loot we can find. 
while there. And then once we get there, I might also take a moment to survey the area. What's in this little spot here? Granola bar. Could end up being useful. Skill book for hunting with bows, which, you know, conveniently we just found that bow. So reading that's going to be uh, important. Don't really see much in terms of the area around us. What I think I might do here is we'll take care of our immediate needs. I'm going to eat, drink some water, survey the area, and kind of see if anything, any points of interest pop up on the map. Not much popped up on the map here, but I think we're going to continue to head a little bit further south. Uh, there's cattails all over, but I would like to get out of this cold. And in clearing that out, it did, the fog did lift a little bit. Again, it's very difficult to kind of see. I wish there was like a binoculars or a spyglass or ty uh, type of tool, you know, a viewfinder to kind of get to look those long distances. But there does appear to be some stuff over in the back direction over there. Uh, let's see if I can kind of help point out where it is. Uh, down that direction, I'm seeing it looks to be, to me, it looks a little red. Um, so I think we're going to head that way. And that looks like a dock over there. So those are two kinds of points of interest that I think would be interesting to go try to get to. What I'm probably going to look to do since we're in this region and we're going to need a mountaineer's rope to get out of here. Well, let me rephrase. If we want to head back to Milton, well, actually, that's not even correct. What I'm going to look to do, I'm not rushing to get out of this region. Um, I'm not sure how many days we'll spend here. You know, I want to make sure we do what we need to while we're here. Um, but I don't know this. I feel like this region's fairly sparse in terms of location. So I'm hoping we can kind of get through this area fairly quickly. But we'll take a look at all the stuff that we can do. Uh, in the interim, though, we did find a uh, the bunkhouses here, and we'll try to search uh, this out. We'll try to search this fairly quickly because um, it does not look like there's going to be anywhere that we can get warm here. So in the last part, when I broke down one of those. Uh, crates there was some gear inside of it there was actually a ton of um like what is the word uh lighter fluid i guess you could say accelerant um what we'll do is uh we're gonna go get warm and i'm gonna come back and kind of tear down these cardboard boxes and tear down these crates because i want to see if that's a common thing or if that was just that location or kind of what happens here i did see a building this way so I'm, you know, hoping that it's going to be at least one that can keep us warm. And we can kind of hang our hat and maybe base out of it in this area for the time being. Old Spence Family Homestead. Okay. I actually have heard of this place before. Let's see how much meat you have. 1.6. Uh, if we're right by the homestead, let's just carve them up. 45 minutes okay let's just do it we're gonna get a little cold that's okay and of course the weather would pick up and there's another carcass over there it looks like where is it there it is I'm heavy. What I do know is there's a bed in here. It's not the warmest shelter. It's kind of a lot like the hermit, the hermit shelter that we were in. There's a forge in here, I believe, and there is a bed. So we'll be able to stay warm and get out of the wind. There's also a workbench. This is a fairly cool little area to um, reside in. Oh, and there's a ton of coal. Interesting. Well, how do I start it? 
There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I could start a fire there. I'm warm already in here. Simple parka. Firewood. A whole bunch of stuff. If I go to sleep, what would it do? Would it heat? Would it warm me up? Try it. Yeah, I'd, I'm warming up. Cool. Little hour in here. Kept this warm. I don't know how, but it did. Uh, I'm going to take some time and uh, I'm going to I'm going to take some time here and just organize this place a little bit, make it a little bit more homely and uh, and I'll be right back. Uh, let's check our weight here. We are. Oh, my God, these wolves, man. If I crawl up here, they don't really bother me. Um, but I would like to kind of get an idea of what we need. I am going to attempt... What time is it? It's getting a little dark. I can eat this... I don't want to eat this MRE right now. I am warm in here. I'm con wondering if I could get, I doubt it, but I wonder if I could get through the night without any uh, fire and just sleep with my clothes and that, uh, that bed there. Do you see the stars? Do you see that you are there? It's a fault of the mind to perceive separation. The same fault creates time. Look around, observe. Your father was trying to preserve what we have. The boxes hold the seeds to the universe. Anything right now. Breathe deep and persist. Fix that goal in your mind. Concentrate on a single flower. You'll feel that warmth on your cheeks again. This is just a signal from beyond. It's just a passing cloud from another world. The songs of birds will fill pink skies. Remember, the weakest light breaks the deepest darkness. All right, it's getting fairly dark here. Uh, I'm exhausted. It's cold. We're going to try to figure out how this night's going to go. I'm going to um, I'm going to head to sleep now and see how we fare. I'll probably sleep in a couple hours at a time and try to see how the cold affects us. I don't want to find ourselves in a situation where we lose a large chunk of condition because uh, we're not warm enough. A nice aurora out. So the aurora sparked up. We're going to use this light to kind of travel a little bit and just see how things are. Check out a little bit in the area. I know the wolves are much more dangerous at this time, but we've been faring fairly well against the wildlife. And I want to kind of, I don't want to sit inside all day. I don't know if we just need to shoot it. Got him. Oh, I hear others. Oh, there's another one right there. I want to get down to this building here. Oh, sh Jesus. Uh, that one. Oh my god, I am fighting as hard as I can. All right, we're out. We're gonna head back to Old Spence Farm. I got lucky with that first one, but there's way too many wolves in this area. And I don't know if we'll, we'll survive another attack. So we're going to limp on home and try to recover. I was hammering away at the mouse button and I could not get him to, to die. All right, let's check out our afflictions here. Oh, I'm out of painkillers. Oh, good. Um... Hold on. I do have a reishi. Or rosehip tea, is it? 
Let's check out our afflictions here. Is that a uh, rose hip? All right, let's wrap these up. Let's eat this and then we're going to sleep. We'll go get that wolf carcass in the morning. And I will uh, reload this as well. So I don't forget. All right, we made it through the night. We made it through the night. Let's take a look at our gear here. See how damaged this stuff is. And eh, not too bad. They didn't ravage much. Um, we should be. I think I looked before. We should be healed up. We are. Let's um. There's a wolf carcass down here I want to cut up. And then I do want to check out that other house. And there was another deer carcass around here. Let's just take the gun out already. And see what's going on. 10 pounds of meat. I mean, we could... If I start a fire, will it hold? Or is it too windy? Yeah, it looks like it's too windy. All right, we'll come back for the wolf. Go down here and take a look at this deer. Because hopefully... I bet you there's less meat on this deer, so... It shouldn't take as long to harvest them. Plus, there's no risk of parasites. Yeah, there's only 1.6 pounds. Uh, 15 minutes? Yeah, just go ahead and do it. We can come back for the hide later. Somewhere I read that the hatchet is the better option when fighting off the wolves. Oh, I just picked that up and put it away. Feel so good. I would like to not die here. See if I can get home. I might just drop a decoy on this one. All right, we made it back. I know I have some cloth in here. We'll make some bandages. And we'll wrap our foot up. We're having a rough day. All right, let's start up a fire here. I feel like I wanted to... I'd like to base here at one point. And like really base here, like start start a run here. And I can just see how challenging that would be. Just based on all the wolves that we've faced. And I have firearms and stuff. I mean, I think my big problem before is I could not start a fire, so I couldn't scare the wolf away. Oh, that's good to have. And it is kind of challenging to shoot them. Especially when they're charging. But I'm not too worried about it at this time. We can definitely recover uh, the condition. It's not going to be that that hard to do. Uh, good A good night's sleep. And we should be fine. Oh, there's probably painkillers in here. Could end up being yep. Knew it. Knew, knowing my luck, there would be painkillers in there. And a heavy hammer. Hell yeah. Put that right there. Let's put the accelerant away too. I don't need this many. I'll keep one on me. No! Son of a bitch. I just wanted to light a damn torch. Need some first aid. All right, how much? Oh, my God. We're going to die. <laughs> we may die. I don't know. 
I keep getting just eaten by wolves every three seconds. Alright, how's this looking? Oh, it's not even boiled yet. Hi. All right, what do I need to do? Um, let's see here. All right, so let's antiseptic it. That's a verb, right? And we'll put that there. And then we're going to treat the blood loss. All right, good, because I was losing condition a lot. Kind of a weird spot to end it, but I think I am going to call it a part here. I got some maintenance to do uh, over the next little bit. We had an interesting episode for sure. Found the survival bow. We found the heavy hammer. Um, we're at the Spence's farm homestead. We've been attacked by several wolves. <laughs> we saw an aurora. We, we killed our first aurora wolf. It's been a crazy episode um, nonetheless. And we're pretty much still screwed so i'm gonna go run away from this wolf up this thing and uh call it a day but that's gonna do it for me if you enjoyed the video please leave a like it helps me out very very much now if you're interested in more long dark content please consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next one have a good one bye